When I'm ready to create an iMovie trailer, I'm going to hit the plus sign and select trailer to begin. And then I can just pick the template that I want and when I'm ready, I'm going to hit create. That's going to open up the editing page. The first part you see is the outline. So that's where you can type in your title, the studio name if you want to give it some kind of fun name. Um, you can select the logo style and then you can put in directed by, edited by, all the credits and you can give credit to whomever you'd like. Over in storyboard is where you're going to see exactly what types of shots you're going to need to be getting. So a couple of things to think about is a medium shot is going to be, as you can see here, from mostly the person's torso up. If you do a close up, that's going to be mostly just their head. Two shot is two people, obviously. Um, in action, you want to have somebody doing something. A uh, group, obviously, that is the entire group of people involved in the story. And a wide shot is going to be a full body shot. Okay, so you can kind of get an idea. They show you in these little pictures exactly what you're supposed to be filming as you're going. Otherwise, you have these little story bits that come in between your video. So here it says, once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl who dreamed of becoming a princess on her birthday, blah, blah, blah. That's obviously not the story that you want to be telling. So at any time, you can edit that and it'll just automatically change that for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to select what you would like to film. And down at the bottom, you can see you have video, photos, and camera. If you would prefer to film with the camera app and then go ahead and transport that into the iMovie trailer, you certainly can. But you can also use the camera option. And you can actually just film what you need and it'll film the short burst of time that it needs. And then you can select from that what exactly you'd like to include by just sliding the yellow slider back and forth. So you're actually, if you look at each of these little um, examples here in the template, they tell you exactly how long each clip is going to be. So you're not doing like full long video here, you're doing short little bursts, and this is going to be what you use to create your iMovie trailer.